Guys, I watched this story recently and I've been really into, because I did like journalism, media, investigative journalism, so I've always been into like, interested in like documentaries, crime, new, not news per se, but like just like investigations and I always watch them, but sometimes they could be as scary as Nollywood movies, you know, I could watch some of these documentaries or these invest investigative stories and I can't sleep. I watched one of the most horrifying stories, which was about a woman, whatever her name is, I don't even want to put any respect on her name, Michelle Blair, whatever. She literally had four kids. She kill, killed two of her kids, one of her oldest daughter and the oldest one. One was Stephen, one was Shawnee. And she put them in the freezer and they were dead for like one to two years. Nobody noticed this. The reason why she even admitted to the police that she killed her kids was because she said they sexually assaulted her child, Alex. Now, Alex was the younger one. Tell me what parent kills their child over assault of their younger child. You will question the child. Yes, you will get mad. But the first thing you would do is you will go to the police or you will find out further evidence of what has been going on. You don't just attack or kill your child, which was strange. So she was saying to the police, oh, the reason why she killed her child, Shawnee and um, Stevens, because she felt like he assaulted the, um, the boy. And then she said that, Shawnee assaulted the son that's why he acted like that but the story doesn't make sense because regardless even if your child is to assault their sibling there's maybe the child was assaulted maybe there's a reason why why would a child even if she's telling the truth about her child assaulting the sibling the only way a child because that sounds psychologically like messed up like it sounds effed up the only way a child can be that effed up is if they see it from a parent either that child was touched or the mum, they saw something the mum was doing. That's why they're acting like that to the other sibling. But it's mad because there's no way, either way, she's telling the truth or not. Either way, she's guilty in my eyes. Like, there's no way you can do that to a child. You can beat them up, knock out their teeth, hit their head, cause trauma to their head, put them in a freezer and try and make that up so that people can have sympathy for you. And it's crazy how, like, the police and the justice system, like, oh, we're going to see if we can... No, don't see if you can give her rights to see her kids. Completely terminate her rights from all her kids. Like, it's crazy how the justice system, the church, the family, the friends, the school, the people didn't notice that the two kids were missing. The two kids were nowhere to be seen for years. Like, you haven't seen them. You don't know where they are. The school can't even question their whereabouts or why she's pulling them out. Didn't notice, notice any strange behaviour. And it just shows you, like people truly don't care teachers don't care like the system fails people miserably and it's like those kids didn't go into school because she knew if she went took the children to school they would know that the kids are being tortured imagine they died slowly of pain they were in fear they were scared died of a scared death and i need you guys to watch this story please 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 tell me how you can do that to your own children at night and sleep at night like how can you put them in a the freezer and then sleep at night and then confidently tell the judge yeah i did it because i and then she even had the audacity to flip out in court and say you never saw your kids. No matter what, if the father don't see the kids, if the family around you, there's so many things you can do. If you know that you don't have the mental capacity to look after kids, take them to care. Take them to someone else that can help you. Take them. There's always an excuse. A narcissist, a psychopath, and an evil person will always will always like act and lie and, 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 and look for sympathy. She's a narcissist, a complete narcissist, an evil woman. There's no excuse. I don't care if she was abused. I don't care. Like People were saying, oh, maybe she was abused and she took her emotional trauma out on her kids. So effing what? Why didn't you go to counselling? If you can handle your kids, there's so many other ways you can like... Um, uh, um, do like co-parenting or, or take them into the justice system and see whether you can see them for time you could have gone to a pastor you could there's so much help that she could have got but she decided to punish the kids and um, if she wasn't about to get evicted and they didn't find that she was about to kill the two other kids i guarantee you any money she was planning to kill them one by one because you can't kill all four of them she was planning to kill them one by one. She's a monster. She's pure evil. There's no sympathy. There's no love in her heart. She didn't love her kids as much as she claimed she did. There's no amount of mental health that will make you kill an innocent child that did not do anything. She played a game with them. She, I think she basically made them admit to something they didn't do just so she can feel... Um, not feel a sense of guilt so she can feel validated and why she just wanted to kill them she's a harmful disgusting dangerous woman she wanted to kill them she didn't have a reason to kill them so she wanted them to say that they assaulted the siblings so she can get herself angry so she's sick she wanted to get herself angry just so she can punish them and you've got to really be careful of people like this in the world guys like i'm going to put the link down to the story watch the story tell me what you think because 
I'm too horrified and disgusted to even talk about it because it's going to get too much and it's a trigger warning. So trigger warning for anybody. But if you don't want to watch, if you're not interested in like an um, investigative story, it has lots of like um, disgusting like images and disgusting things that are happening. Please do not watch it, trigger warning. But yeah, it's horrifying. And I just want your opinion on what you think um this case i think she should have put to been put to death penalty i don't even think there should have been any consideration of whether she should go to patrol um um if she should go get let out on patrol uh patrol pa parole when i say patrol she should have got, got left out on parole like she should have just been sentenced to death she's a pig she's an animal